Hold on, now I'm recording. So we're the California Conservation Court on Spike, and Spike means that we're camping out near our project site, and so that's why a lot of our videos were in uniform, you're like thinking we're playing at work. We ain't playing at work. We live here, we wear half our uniforms, and we are playing a lot of the time, but it's after work. He's got to chop the tree out to the ground. Still got my weave in. So we did this permit up, permit up, salmon habitat restoration. Are we getting too sexy with it? <laughs> we did this permit up, permit up because we love the sea corner. <laughs> the sea corner she did permanent permanent parody it's awesome you can see her description her uh, address and description box go watch that before you watch this video because it's this video is crazy enough and you need to understand a little bit we love sea corner we love the work she's doing so this is Jacob Gooding Jacob, where are you from? I'm from Stockton, California. Stockton, California, and he's out here doing salmon habitat restoration with us. And I uh, sent by a root wad that we had just placed. It was very, very heavy and difficult to do. Um, so, what are some, re you know, there's some, we're doing salmon habitat restoration because there's been a severe, severe decline of salmon in California. What are, just give us, there's lots of reasons, but just give us a few of them. Well, the main reason that we're out here is because the loss of the habitat that they need. And uh, without the habitat, then they, that, that's why their numbers are declining rapidly. Perm it up, perm it up, wash it all fall out. Sew it up, sew it up, cause it won't grow out. Perm it up, perm it up, wash it all fall out. Sew it up, sew it up, cause it won't grow out. Broke up a fight with two of my friends. Still getting my weaving. But a couple of the reasons why their habitat is being taken away is because first deforestation and that's from logging and building roads and all the destruction that that does it takes away their shade and also it takes away the potential for the trees to fall into the creek and provide food and shelter and the habitat that they need and that's why we're bringing in logs because right, we're right. we're and pretending we're, like we're big trees falling down but we're just bringing in small trees and tying them down anchoring them in place okay exactly and all the other factors that go along with that, with the erosion that the real the roads cause, that the loggers create, and then still got my weaving. Hey, so you still got my weaving. Wait, when it comes up. Can we see it? Also, the dams that we put into the the rivers, it blocks the salmon from returning to their original spawning grounds, and it just stops them in the river at the dam and they, they can't go any further and they, they can't spawn. And so we have less and less salmon. That's reason number two. And the last reason is overfishing or over over harvest. And that's mainly caused by the fishing boats out in the ocean. They use these big, large, massive nets and they gather up all the fish and when, when they do that, they're not just taken away from the other fishermen that want to catch the fish that they just caught. They're, they're beating them the, the punch for the other fish, like the predator fish. And then they, they lose their numbers because they don't have the resources that they need when we are taken from them. Perm it up, perm it up, watch it all fall out. Sew it up, sew it up, cause it won't grow out. Perm it up, perm it up, watch it all fall out. So the commercial fishermen are competing against all the fish farms and they they're they're spawning thousands and thousands of fish and they just can't compete 
So the commercial fishermen are having to like buy their own boats and buy their own equipment and stuff like that and compete against fish farms. Right. Which are um, using pins at the mouth of rivers. Yeah, directly at the mouth, and they, they kill all kinds of all kinds of species, not even just the salmon, the seals, and all kinds of stuff. Just from the spread of diseases and all that kind of stuff you have from that many fish in such a confined area. And the salmon are natural predators. There's the only natural predators that we farm raise. Huh. Like you don't you don't raise like tigers and stuff like that because it takes so much protein to feed them. Mm -hmm. Same with salmon. It takes five times the amount of protein to give them for them to grow and live because they're predators and they make they use the protein to make protein. And so all the other fish that they eat is just taken away from the ocean. So if we have a food shortage, we should be eating that five tons of sardines or anchovies that we're feeding the salmon instead of feeding them to the salmon and then only getting one ton in return. Exactly, and the farms just make brown artificial meat that they put dye into. Hmm. So if you go to a restaurant, folks, ask for wild-caught salmon. If they don't have wild-caught salmon, don't buy it. we got to not create markets for farm-raised salmon. And nature does it for free, like we've been saying. So we're, we're putting in structures right now because this area has been so logged. Um, but, you know, now we have laws in place where they can't, where we, we're no longer logging right next to the creek. So these trees will fall in, create habitat, and nature will produce tons of meat for us for free. All right. Thank you, Jacob Gooding. Watch it all fall out. Sew it up, sew it up. Cause it won't grow out. Perm it up, perm it up. Watch it all fall out. Sew it up, sew it up. Cause he won't grow out. Broke up a fight with two my friends. So here's a habitat structure. And Spencer Taylor. There he is. So let's go talk to Spencer Taylor. Do you like doing salmon habitat restoration work? Um, yeah. What do you like about it? Oh, well, you get to save salmon. It's my favorite fish to eat. Mm -hmm. And also, they're beautiful fish to look at in the uh, river. You get that bright red color on the sides when they come up the... Uh, come up the river when it's at, when it's, you know, rushing through. Yeah, like during the winter. So right now, this is summer flow, so this is really low. That's why we're working in here right now, because there's not a lot of water in here. We wouldn't be able to, right here, we'd be up to our waist almost. Yeah. Awesome. So this video is probably not going to make any sense to you unless you go to the sea corner on YouTube. There's a sea corner. we got the address there in the um, description box. And before you watch the rest of this video, good Lord, how much Before you watch the rest of this video, you probably should go watch Sea Corner first so it makes a little bit of sense. Because what we did was we combined clips from work, clips from after work with the California Conservation Corps. And we're spiking out, means we're camping. We got our tents out here. We're at Upper Noyo. And um, we are big fans of the Sea Corner. So you should go check out her video and, um, and then come back and watch us.